Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Non-Cooperators. We are continuing with, with some more Resident Evil Degeneration on the N-Gage. Let us proceed. We're in the cargo hold. Right? Yeah, I think we're right where we last left off. We might have moved up a little bit. I guess I think we're in the, uh, the plane of the cargo hold. Right? On again? On again? Plane autopilot will uh, disengage once the cabin is decomp uh, decompressed. Uh, you need to find the emergency pressure control panel. A code is required to operate the control panel. Uh, right, otherwise, an idiot, it's like any idiot could just, uh, you know, do it mid-flight. Any ideas what, what the code is? Nope, sorry. Yeah, might find some clues inside the plane. Why would they leave? Oh, oh, come on! Damn it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the game in seven minutes. Seriously, I mean... There's nothing else that I, I, unless we, oh, my mic's in the way. Well, not too much, just, just a wee bit. Um, unless we somehow get lucky, which I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Friggin' look like a, whoops. Friggin' looks like a, um, what do they call that? Oh, the pilot's card, that might work. Oh my god, I can't, I can't remember what the hell those things are called. From Resident, not Resident Evil, that game, movie, Re, uh, Evil Dead. Deadites, deadites. Looks like a deadite. She looked like a deadite instead of a zombie. And you're gonna tell me, oh, well, aren't they the same thing? No, not at all. Deadites were were. Well, whoops. Oh, the code is 5873. Okay, so we might be okay. Code panel's been changed to 5873. Okay, so no, they're completely different. Zombies and deadites are completely different. They look like zombies. They're decomposed and everything, but they're called deadites. They're pos they're possessed by demons. These are not possessed. These are... Oops. These are the living dead, basically. Res uh, resur uh, resurrected... Uh, uh, yeah, resurrected dead people, basically. Oh, and they, all they do is just bite and transmit a deadly virus that turns you into one of them. Basic classic horror story to any survival horror type of movie or game. God, I miss playing the original Resident Evil games. Not saying that they were so much better, but they just had the potential. It has been changed again. The pin code is on the ID card number backwards. Huh? Oh, fuck me. Wait, the ID card that we actually have. Uh, oh, wait, items. Nope. Hey, where's I don't have a magnum. Why do I not have a magnum? I want a magnum. Give me a magnum. Magnum. Give me a magnum. Give me a magnum. Okay, ID card, but backwards, so it's 1996. Is that... I feel like that's something. 1996. That, w that wasn't when Resident Evil 1 came out. That was 1997, right? 97 was Re Resident Evil 1. Am I wrong? Unless I was like, oh, th we had the idea back in 1996. That makes more sense. But still... Just remember the code. It's 1996. Unless the actual code is... Five something I can't remember the other one. I have to go go through the log and look that shit up. So the year when Resident Evil was being made. I mean, I could be wrong. Are you sure that's what it was? Is uh, nineteen ninety? Wait, hang on. Oh, oh, I wait. I gotta use my. Hang on. Yay! It is correct. Awesomeness. I had to actually open up the phone and actually dial, dial it. No! 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 Yes! Good! Grand! Wonderful! Hunnigan! I've... Reproduced the uh, pressure... Uh, um, yeah. Reduced the pressure of the plane and successfully I stopped the plane for, for a minute departing. Next. Well done! Uh, it will be dangerous when the, the pressure gets lower. Uh, there should be a hatch uh, leading to the cargo hold, so try to escape from there. Hatch. Okay, understood. <laughs> He's like, hatch? What is this hatch you speak of? I got a question mark over, over my head. What is this hatch you speak of? Oh, okay. Never mind. Understood. Is that the hatch? It is a hatch. It looks like a hatch. Why is this not a functional hatch to... Oh, wait. Son of a bitch. I have to go in front of the hatch or behind the hatch or whatever aspect of the uh, hatches. Whatever. So, no more time limit, right? Because, I don't know, they still have like this... Creepy music where it's like, oh, son of a bitch, Mr. T, Tyrant T, still a big, uh, still a big one left. Oh, okay, well, 
fucks himself over. So I don't need to fight... Uh, yeah, I do need to fight him. Uh, well, I'm not going to be using this pistol. I'm going to be using something just a wee bit stronger. Just a tad. I would prefer the Magnum, but I think the only thing that we actually have that's strong... Yeah, I think it's just the uh, the shotgun. Or the riot gun. Okay. And we shall proceed with this game by trying to take this motherfucker out. God damn it, I want to pick up all of the stuff. Should I use this? Nah, just keep it. Holy shit! Bad time, yeah, I know. Now I should have fucking used it. Yeah! Go away, you... You... Bishwhacker? You are way too close for comfort. Son of a bitch. Come on, shoot. Oh. Okay. So... Okay, achievement unlocked! 40 points for... Damn, killing the... Th it looks like the, the thing from another world. Or just the thing. That, that achievement little spot. Nine... Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and close that bitch and bleh, right? Yeah, yeah, I knew it. So now what? Hello? Leon, there's more uh planes on autopilot. Are you kidding me? How many are we talking about? Too many to get before they take off. Okay, so it's not my problem because I can't do shit about it. Fucking get the FDA to sh shoot them down. The only way to disable the, all the autopilot system is to knock out the control tower. How do we do this? The most efficient way is to shut off the power to the control yeah. control tower. I really need like something to drink, like I always need. Uh, I have uh, sent you the route to the power control panel. Follow the markings on the map, and it'll get to the uh, control pa panel fast. So, is there a time limit to this? Chapter eight, uh, chapter eight, uh, chapter eight cleared. Awesomeness. And look, we got a golden badge. I actually do have a star's badge somewhere. Is it up there? Eh, I don't want to look for it. Never mind. It's not important. It's somewhere. Just don't know where. Probably is up there. Next. Okay, so let's. All right, so we don't need to. Uh, hang on, let me reload. Okay, so we don't have a time limit, so we don't need to rush this. So we can take our time. Wait, that's the crappy handgun. We get the Punisher handgun equipped. Um, let's take an herb. Just crush that and roll that shit up and smoke it, and there you go, full of health. Alrighty then, Mr. President. Let's see what we can do with this. It does nothing. Oh, Jesus, this thing is vibrating. Is somebody calling me on this thing? <laughs> I don't know, the, uh, the f this phone thing, the N-Gage phone was vibrating like crazy, like, was that the explosion or something? I presume so, but I don't know, it's, it, no, it never vibrated like that, that, that aggressively, it's like, hang on, let me see if it does it again. Yeah, it does, it's, look at it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it was like, Nyeh! like the old vibrate, the old vibrating phones that were like really aggressive. They're like, fucking pick me up! I'm gonna vibrate you! I'm gonna vibrate your pelvis until you fucking answer the goddamn phone! Now, it's, now the cell phones nowadays are like, it's gonna vibrate, it's gonna it'll tickle, it's gonna tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, is that, is that disturb you? I'm so sorry, okay. You got a missed call, by the way, because I wasn't vibrating enough. <laughs> this is stupid shit. Alright, um. Shit, where the hell am I going? <laughs> Yeah, I completely- oh wait, uh, oh, Merchant's in there. Let me see if the, uh, um, if there's, uh, anything the Merchant could give me. Like, a MAGNUM! I really would like a Magnum. I really would. Magnums are nice. I, I would really like Leon's Magnum. Uh, the one he had- oh, whoops. Uh, which is- it was the Desert- the Desert Eagle, but I want the Long Slide Desert Eagle. The one that was actually in the book. If you guys have read the book, it's apparently in the book. Um... I'm trying to remember exactly what ha what 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 happened because I haven't read the book in s such a long time. Where basically, um, one of his cop buddies or friends or something, it was a gift, uh, whoops, that they were uh, that they were giving him, which was a um, a ten inch long slide Desert Eagle with uh, his name uh, engraved on the handle, Leon on it, and it was pretty cool. And I actually have that on uh, the Tokimurua. Airsoft pistol. I have both of them. I have the this. I have the long slide silver one, and I and I have the uh, the black side the black slide silver one, and it's actually pretty cool. So, 
Let me, um... Let me just see what we have, if there's anything to get. Treasure map, we already- okay, it's out of stock. Okay. Wait, shit, 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 shit. First aid spray, mag- a magnum! There we go. Very powerful, 40, uh, a .45 caliber handgun, uh, will make anyone's day. Yes, it will. It just made my day. But that was a lot of money, but you know what? I just- I- I, I have my magnum. I'm good. I'm all good. I am super good in the hood. I will tune that shit up. Let us tune it up for maximum firepower. Well, wait, not maximum, just f firepower, reload, and ammo capacity. Now, maximum firepower, maximum reload speed, and maximum ammo capacity, which we cannot get. And hopefully we can get that next time on the non-cooperators. We will see you next time. I know you guys are like saying, Damn it, just show us the magnum. Nope, nope, nope. You're going to have to wait tomorrow to see the magnum. So, next time on the cooperators, we will, I will reveal the magnum to you. So, we'll see you next time. Ready to